winters in this part of interior Alaska, just south of the Arctic Circle, are brutal and bring ice storms and sub-zero temperatures that threaten airport operations. Landing planes can clock in at around 100 miles per hour when they touch down. Anything that hampers the breaking of a landing plane could spell disaster. We've had planes will slide into the terminal because it's sheer ice. Fortunately, this airport has invented a one-of-a-kind machine, ready to battle thick ice. It's equipped with 588 menacing metallic teeth. Its very name conjures up an ice-pummeling beast. This is the Yeti. Teeth are pointed but blunt. It almost looks like it has claws. Hands down, this is the number one ice fighter. Other icebreakers' teeth pound into the ice, smashing it up into smaller pieces so a plow can push the frozen mess out of the way. But the existing commercial breakers at Frigid Fairbanks couldn't cut it. The Yeti was pretty much designed out of necessity. My design is different than any others I've seen because it doesn't have as many points on the ground. Frizon realized other commercial icebreakers had too many spikes, evenly distributing the pressure and hardly denting the thick Fairbanks ice. He removed some and spread out the shock-resistant carbide steel teeth. With fewer spikes, each one strikes with more pressure to puncture into the ice. It works similar to jackhammer. The Yeti also uses 14 small drums of spikes arranged in two rows instead of one giant one. So this monster can break up the ice twice in a single pass. Each of those axles pivot and they can get into different pieces. They're actually either chipping or chunking it up as each teeth hits at a different area. If it's thinner ice, he'll be down to three to six miles an hour. Thicker ice like what this is here, he can be up to 17 miles an hour. Um, faster he goes, the more ice it breaks up. 